Hey everybody, it's Andrew. Uh, welcome back to My Horror. I am recording this video a little bit earlier in the day right now because I had a few friends recommend to me that new show on Netflix called The Haunting of Hill House. And I am telling you guys, oh buddy, that is <laughs> that is a scary, scary show. Um, maybe it's because I watched it last night um, with all the lights off and everyone was asleep in the house. And so, like, I felt, you know when you watch a scary movie and you feel really defenseless and, like, you're looking in your peripheral vision like insanity, like you're expecting someone to walk around and get to you? Okay, that's me. So I'm doing... <laughs> Even though I like all this stuff, I mean, don't don't get me wrong, I still get scared by a lot of things. Maybe that's why I love watching horror films so much, because I crave it. And so, don't judge me. I can get scared of things. It's allowed. Um, but yeah, so I'm recording this earlier, <laughs> so I can then go upstairs and maybe watch a comedy. So, uh, first things first, let's go ahead and start with the sign. Alright, everybody, here we go. Alright, so the movie I went ahead and saw for you guys this time, it's again one of my original 15, um, and it's a movie called Atrocious. It's a Spanish found footage film that I remember seeing in the $5 bin at Walmart like way back in the day, but I forgot about it at that point, so now I couldn't find it at Walmart. I had to buy it on Amazon, but... I got it for five bucks, so it's a really good deal, um, and it's actually very, uh, it's actually not a bad movie, it's pretty decent. Um, atrocious, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the case right here. Like I said, it's a Spanish found footage film, and I don't know about you guys, uh, found footage films are a hit or miss for me. I can see why they're so famous, because, you know, when you do a found footage film, you're banking off of the, you know possibility of making people believe that this is actually a found footage like someone recorded this it was found you know and as a result you're not banking on special effects you don't have to put as much money into that you don't have to spend as much money on uh, famous actors because you know if you get if you get Johnny Depp in a found footage film there goes the illusion right away because like oh look it's Depp um that'd probably be a good monster anyways but you know um, but if you get no-name actors, you don't know who they are, um, it raises the probability that you're going to believe what's going on in this movie. So if you, and if you do all that, you spend not as much money, and the movie makes a lot of money in the theater, then you've made a huge profit. So I see why they're, you know, really famous, and Paranormal Activity did that, and it did it very well, but, um... They're a hit or miss for me. Um, it depends on how well my corn dog from lunch is sitting well in my stomach. If it's not, and I watch something like this that's crazy, and the camera shakes a lot, then I'm probably going to vomit. So, <laughs> they they are a definite hit or miss. Um, this one's actually pretty good. I mean, it has its flaws like most found footage films do, but, you know, you can't win them all, right? Now, the movie is directed by, and it's Spanish, so I'm doing my best, Fernando Pareda Luna. That's a, that's Italian. I, maybe the Spanish do this as well. Director Fernando Bereda Luna. Okay, and it's from it's based in Spain. Um, this family, they decide that they're going to go on a summer vacation out to their um, summer home that's in the country somewhere around Madrid. And when they get there, the son, um, I think his name is Christian, and then the, his sister is Juli. I guess it's Huli. Yeah, like it's spelled like July, so Huli. Um, but they don't really want to go to this uh, summer house, which is beyond me because the house is freaking amazing. Like that is, it's like Bill Gates' summer home. Like I would go there in an instant. But they don't have much to do, so they decide that they're going to bring um, video cameras and they're going to investigate the surroundings of the house. Um, they hear of a local legend near the house, which is. You know, the house is, like, right next door to the big labyrinth, you know, that their mom used to play in when she was a girl. But there's a legend that there's this girl named Melinda. Now, I can't remember exactly how she died or whatnot. I think she died in the labyrinth. But that when people get in the labyrinth, it kind of looks like the maze from The Shining. And if they get lost, then at night, what happens is Melinda will appear in a red dress... And she will act as the guide to get the people who got lost in the maze out. And so, 
it seems <laughs> it seems like a nice um what is it folk story or a folk tale or whatever um to be, to be honest if i was lost in the maze and then a woman in a red dress just appeared i probably wouldn't follow her i think she'd be the devil so yeah, maybe that's just me but um and they find out that there's other versions of the of the fairy tale as well that aren't so you know beautiful or nice and so they decide to investigate the maze the labyrinth uh christian and julia and huli sorry <laughs> i got carried away um so they go out there with their cameras and they're recording things and you know lots of shaky camera effects lots of investigation and as the movie carries on and they keep investigating the labyrinth or you know the house's surroundings like their dog goes missing the dad goes missing but they're under the impression that he just went out on a business trip and then you know their little brother go missing i, I don't I can't remember what his name was but you know basically everyone else just goes missing the main characters are christian and huli and so and oh man I, i'm not sure how really to explain it but yeah they just the dog you find out the dogs died um you don't really know what happens to anyone else but and i can't i can't give away the ending because that's like the heart of this movie because as much as i really enjoyed um parts of this movie and the ending is actually to me deeply disturbing and deeply satisfying um the thing is there when i say there's a lot of shaky camera and found footage like i'm not kidding there's a lot like the scene especially like near the end I'll, I'll just actually explain the scene for you um when they find out that okay so the dog's gone at this point they know he's dead the dad's gone and then the little brother's gone and the mother is freaking out and you don't really learn a whole lot about the mother you just know she's there so but the mother's freaking out she's like where's our son and she runs out in the middle of the night into the maze and then christian and huli follow her into the maze trying to look for her they have no idea where she's gone you know trying to like look for the little brother and this whole scene and it, it feels like it lasts like 12 minutes of just them think of that scene in the shining the very end only a lot more stressful you know they have the camera night vision and they're cutting all these corners running around running amok and not really finding anything and every time you think you're going to see something scary you don't and although it's annoying in that it takes so long, you know, the cameras are shaking all over the place. Like, you know, I, I don't want to admit it, but props to the filmmakers in a way because it really does build the suspense um, for what you're going to see later on. And then, you know, Julian and Christian, they find out some mysteries about their family that they, they're pretty, pretty dark. So I'm going to leave that up for you guys to find out and decide upon. Um, this, and even though I say, like, I don't want it to come across like I thought this movie was bad or anything, uh, found footage is just a very big hit or miss for me. Um, you know, Blair Witch Project was good. Blair Witch, the sequel, is good. I'm a big fan of The Sacrament uh, from Ty West. Um, but sometimes, you know, it just depends on how shaky the camera is, whether or not I can relax while watching it or not. But it is in Spanish. Um, I don't have a problem with watching, um, foreign, actually some of the better horror films are foreign films, uh, you know, I Saw the Devil, whatnot, so, I have no problem with that, but they do speak a little fast in the movie, and so, like, you'll be spending some time reading at the bottom of the screen, but don't let the, don't let that deter you, um, I highly recommend this movie, it's awesome, and it's got my Andrew Tibbs stamp of approval, which I know is what every director wants to hear. So, again, atrocious. Go ahead and check it out. And I love you guys like a fat man love cake. All right? Bye.